Yeah, it's your boy, Kimbo Greedy, man. But check this out. There's two dudes on this motherfucking social media platform that really caught my attention. These dudes is fucking weird, bro. And I understand why I get them props for letting us know why they fucked up like they are. But this is some serious shit, man. I watched this nigga Tommy Sotomayor y'all, and motherfucking me. What's the other nigga name? The nigga that was... Had the shit with Africa Brown Bottom. Uh, Hassan motherfucking Campbell. Man, I watched Hassan Campbell sit up and disrespect the fuck out of Duck Mama, man. I watch Tommy Sotomayor sit and disrespect the fuck out of Duck. I always see them disrespecting black people. I, I wonder do they even know white people exist. But this nigga walking around with motherfucking me in Bronx River with guns and pulling fake guns on niggas, all this shit. And then had a nerd to tell FBG Duck Mama about her motherfucking parenting skills. This the same nigga who told his kids that Niggas want to kill him, but ain't telling his kids that he on this motherfucking YouTube starting shit. So weird ass, crybaby ass niggas, man. I really feel like somebody need to somebody need to tap you niggas on the shoulder about this disrespecting black women like that, man. Just for because just for views, man. That shit ain't cool at all. Y'all could have had some good to say to FBD Jug Mama, FBD Jug Mama, FBGD Duck Mama, man. But now, nah, y'all want to take the high road. I want to be the one to disrespect her and check her. Yeah, that's how you fix the hood, right? Silly ass, mark ass niggas. Co-op city. Then after I left Co-op city, I would have got a co-op. I went into a house. The co-op shit down because you know why. I kept realizing that I can't keep going back to jail for murder. So now when your sons get murdered, right? You ain't going to take your what resources you to get on your, your shirt? kids the fuck out of the hood. No, instead, I'm sitting up there watching videos where FG, FBG duck mother laying up with his ops. And the nigga that she laying up with putting a picture up there hey, and showing that he fucking up. Like, hey, you know what? Song. That's a mentality right oh, there. fucking hear this shit. That this Get that this nigga thing. mama, duck. Bitch ass okay. nigga just now, talking. Imagine from the little part that I heard, he was saying that um, if he was my baby daddy and he was in jail, he would have got out and killed me for letting all five That nigga wouldn't have did shit. Yeah. I'm convinced this man either. That's what fucked me up. If these niggas is so much of motherfucking killers, just go kill somebody. Quit talking about this shit. And why you niggas still think in 2001 that we still impressed by murderers and killers, nigga? Anybody could take a life, nigga. You got niggas from the LGBTQ community that take people lives. That shit don't mean shit. He don't get no pussy. All that jewelry he <laughs> wear be phony as fuck. Like, I don't even know him, but I'm just gonna clown him off the shit he just said. In this motherfucking video. I was joking when he invented this motherfucker. Oh, I saw a cabo. Your mama should have swallowed your ass. She shouldn't even let that get to her ears or ovaries. She should have got she should have made that a straight up throat baby. That's what you should have been a throat baby, G. Cause after hearing this, you are fucking ridiculous, G, as a man. You should be a fucking ashamed of yourself. 2014. Get that nigga mama, duck. I lost me in the fire. 2017. I lost three in the street. 2020. I lost a duck to the street. Those how I lost my five kids. Who had different fathers? Two of them died. He didn't even know that. So to clear him up on that, get my dick out your mouth and do your research on me before you get your dumb ass on a national platform. Your ass is a clown. Y'all please tell how 
my son Campbell. Next time he say something about me, put his fucking red nose on his face. Okay? Because he's a clown. Mama Duck a real gangster, her son. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit you talking, nigga. I let, and I only had two kids that died from the streets, and this man was in his ass. But now, after he see this, like he did the first time, y'all know how he came at me the first time, right? When I did the press conference, right? He came at me super motherfucking hard. With his mark ass. Then he rekindled this shit and apologized, right? So I'm convinced a motherfucker is paying him to troll me. To Somebody got all these niggas doing this shit. To put this type of motherfucking content out there about me. He don't even fold me. For one, sleep with his op. You, what op he is I slept with? You listening to that slow ass motherfucker who, who called himself exposing me. <laughs> And you listening to him because I text him? Because we were texting. If you say anything, say, I text his op. Right. Not slept with him. You got to know somebody physically and touch him and be there with him. You don't know. She was trying to get him to come around to blow his motherfucking top off, her son. You niggas just be getting in everybody business. The sweets are even norm. So we're not even going to talk about that. This man. He's sick. He have an issue. And I wish, is it any way somebody could tag him and make this fucking narcissistic ass? Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Power. This show is that he fuck it up. Like, hey, you know what? Song. That's I'm a show mentality shit, right nigga. Here. So fucking hear this shit that this man is saying. Okay. So when people were sitting back talking about this nigga Hassan was motherfucking me fucking Africa Bambada, they was wrong. This nigga wanted to make a motherfucking after school special about getting tired by rappers. He wanted to make a whole motherfucking after school special about what was going on with him. Now look at this nigga though. These niggas don't stand on nothing, man. He's the these the niggas that motherfuckers is making famous. I don't know if it's for entertainment or what, but somebody got to be paying these niggas to do this suck ass shit. You can't tell me this is what they grew up on. I from the little part that I heard, he was saying that um, if he was my baby daddy and he was in jail, he would have got out and killed me for letting all five of his kids die. I'm convinced this man either he don't get no pussy. All that jewelry he wear be phony as fuck. Like I don't even know him, but I'm just gonna clown him off the shit. All that nigga should be fake as fuck. In this motherfucking video. Now I was joking when he invented his motherfucking. Yeah, these niggas should be uh, fake as fuck. Campbell, your mama should have swallowed your ass. She shouldn't even let that get to her eggs or ovaries. She should have guess. She should have made that a straight up. Throat baby. That's what you should have been, a throat baby, G. Because after hearing this, you are fucking ridiculous, G, as a man. You should be a fucking ashamed.